Hey! I can't believe you made it. I don't know how you got tickets. Not from Adam. No, you didn't. Hey, everybody say hi to Adam, by the way. Uh, we got some fun uh, swag for you guys. I have a whole bunch of... Well, they, was anybody at the Firefly panel last year at Nerd HQ? You remember how Tudic and Fillion were just handing out crap? I was like, that's a great idea. I have a whole bunch of crap. I'm gonna give people crap. It's actually better than their crap. Uh, hold on, what do we got now? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, we're ready to rock. Are we ready to rock? But, oh, it should be, uh, here, give me, give me one of those because the other one's back there. All right, so, uh, hey, we got $100 uh, Best Buy gift card. Who wants it? Uh, all right, um, hold on, I need, I gotta think of a number, 157. That's the first one that came to my head. Who's in seat 157? 157, oh, and you're wearing a Nerd Herd shirt. How fitting. It could be a nerd shirt, just saying. Um, uh, who's been to Nerd HQ before? I love you all. Oh, bless your heart. Hey, good to see you. We're so excited to be back for a second year. We're so excited to be bringing you guys the first Chuck panel since the show has come to an end. Um, we try to get as many of the cast together as possible. They are all graciously donating their time. Thank you for your patience with all of the tickets. We understand that it was crazy. And my sister and so many volunteers have been emailing you all personally since it all fell to crap. So you need to thank them if you see them. Uh, more people. Is it warm? See, we tried to fix that from last year. <laughs> it was freaking warm last year too, wasn't it? It makes it kind of sultry though, doesn't it? Like we're all in a sauna together. I'll just get in a towel real quick. Ah, uh, watch it. We still loading people in, are we good? Are we good? Hey, everybody who decided to, s what? No, no flash photography. You should know that from the email. You should know that. No flash, no flash. And no flashing either, that's just uncouth. Uh, everybody who's standing, thank you so much for standing. Thank you for still being here with us. Uh, we're going to try and make it as painless as possible. And know that, please, your, your questions still matter. So raise your hand high and proud if you want to ask a question. Uh, let's see here. Tess, everybody say hi to Tess. <laughs> hey, Tess. All right, well, should we get this party started? Are we ready to rock? Oh, no video either. You're taking video. You better stop right now. I'm serious. Please, please. I beg of you. Because it's being professionally recorded. You can see it professionally when you get home. Don't laugh at me. Uh, okay, no flash, no video. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Do it for the kids. And I might be a kid, too. Uh, how are we doing back there? Ready to rock? All right. Who's ready for a Chuck panel? Uh, by the way, these two Chuck panels, these two Chuck panels combined have raised over $10,000 for Operation Smile. Kick it. Awesome. All right. Coming to the stage now, my friends, my family, Mark Christopher Lawrence. Vic Sahai, McKenna Melvin, Adam Baldwin. I'm here, you're here, honey. Ivan Strahovski. Your Chuck panelists. I didn't even get to say hi to her backstage. All right, let's have a seat. Um, yeah, now, now you're all being captured by Mark. How does that feel? Yeah, no video, Mark, jeez. I already went over this. Uh, hi, everybody. 
<laughs> uh, uh, who, wants to, who wants to break the yoke? Who's got a question? Are we just about to Not everybody at once, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're just jumping right in. Yes, you in the back. Yes, I have a question for Yvonne about um, Dexter, my favorite serial killer. Yeah, she's on Dexter, everybody. <laughs> and um, I was just wondering, have you started filming for that already, or have you already done with it? Or is it no, I... I oh. I'm not used to microphones. <laughs> um, they make me very nervous. I, I started shooting, yes, yeah. And did you get to kiss him, or is that not the role? Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I, my lips are sealed. I'm not allowed to say oh. anything. Oh, but Michael C. Hall is so awesome. <laughs> okay. he's, he's very That's lovely. Awesome. And you're awesome, and we miss you guys. Aw, uh, thanks. Hey, you get, uh, you, this is from the bag of crap, or the box of crap, you get a uh, special Chuck poster. <laughs> Can somebody run that? Can we have a runner? Can we have a, a box of crap runner? Yeah, come on now, come now, quick, quick. Because she just got a poster from the box of crap. It's fantastic. We got photos. We got, oh, we got an OG. Remember this bag? Yeah. That's mine. No. Uh, who's next? Yes, you, ma'am. Miss. Lady. First of all, I want to say thank you to all the Nerd HQ volunteers. They've been especially wonderful for people with disabilities. Very cognizant of that, so thank you guys. Um, so, two questions actually. One, is there ever going to be a Jeffster album? <laughs> Big. <laughs> um, you know, for a long time, absolutely not. But of late, I will just say that there's been some glimmer of murmurings of potentially something. Yeah. So I'll say that. And uh, then my second. <laughs> Adam. Check, 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 check. Is this on? Is this on? Yeah, can Thank you turn God. Adam's mic up? Why, didn't, why didn't they call? Keep that why mic wasn't off. I called? Please but, yeah, keep but I'm that just asking mic why, off. I, I, yeah, but I'm mic asking mic this. One How the hell am I going to be a sniper if I don't get a mic? Was I not a part of this show? Was I not a part of this show for how many seasons, though? You know what the thing is here? Nobody calls me. Nobody says, why, why wasn't I called? Everybody says, I'm the mother-loving intersect. I Surprise. It's Michael J. Fox from Teen Wolf. You get you get a uh, you get a chuck bag from the box of crap. Uh, you, uh, I lied to Yvonne. I you lied to Yvonne. You said you weren't coming. I wasn't coming. And now you're coming. <laughs> it's like physically impossible to say no to Zach. Apparently. You have no idea how difficult that was. You have no idea. <laughs> you're happy to be here. I am happy to be here. Oh, I didn't know. Awesome. He Who's lied next? To me. Where were oh, right we? here, right here. Um, if you could go back to the Chuck universe and um, fast forward 10 years, where do you see your character? Where do you see your character? How many kids do we have? 10. 10? That's a lot of sexy time. <laughs> Yeah, this is spoken, spoken by, like, two people who have no kids. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have Tim! Yeah. Uh, where's Morgan in 10 years? Y you're looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Homeless Kenny Loggins. <laughs> What's up, Mark? What's yeah. up, man? Yeah, Casey's My running a, we a weapons training program out in the Arizona desert. Mon Fitting. Monitoring the border. Fitting. <laughs> As opposed to real life. Where? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeffster's in Germany? Uh, Germany, let's say. Spitball, spitball. V level success. Uh, and then in a stunt casting coup, they get cast on a TV show about a German nerd who gets a spy secrets implanted in his brain. Yeah! They end up playing IT tech sidekicks the rest of their life. In a meta twist. And where's Big Mike? Still at the Bymore. 
Oh, oh yeah, buy more online. Banging my mother. Here, you, get, you get a picture. Oh, you're over there. You get a picture, and you get one of these nifty. We have a whole bunch of these. So if I don't give all these out during the panel, then we can give out, get them out afterwards. These are these special shirts that we printed a while ago. So this is a t-shirt with a, with a website that doesn't exist anymore. So you'll love that. It's got Chuck on the back. They're special editions. Uh, who's next? I'm going to let the volunteers tell us who's next, because you guys have people lined up. Yes, you in the back, wearing an awesome shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Do you guys miss each other as much as we miss you and miss the show? Not even close. Yes. No, we, we do not. I will further that. <laughs> we do not. You want to meet? We, we, we will we, take we care miss. of this. We miss. But the rest, no. Yeah. I, I was going to lie. I was going to lie. <laughs> Damn. I was going to make nice. You were going to make I was going nice. to make nice and lie. <laughs> Let me see this thing. <laughs> it was a... Uh, it, it, it was a gnarly show. I mean, I think every year we told you guys, it was a gnarly show to make. It was super intense and balls to the wall all day, every day. So it's nice to have a break from the work schedule, but I miss my family a lot. We you had a lot of fun. You still cry yourself to sleep every night like we do? Okay, you just calm down. <laughs> that is none of your damn business. But you get a t-shirt. <laughs> Give that woman a t-shirt and a picture. And a pin. Hold on, we have pins, too. Yeah, just throw it Chuck out. Secret pin to go with your T-shirt. So who else didn't get one? Oh, these are sharp. I'm not going to throw these. I've gotten in trouble for doing stuff like that before. Josh, can you tell us about those Dos Equis commercials? <laughs> well, I don't always drink beer. We all, we that was Blackman sniping you right now. <laughs> We talked about trying to get, we wanted him for my father on the show. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, were, we were spitballing about who could play Morgan's dad, and we're like, it's got to be the Dos most Equis interesting man guy. in the world. Yeah. It's got to be that guy. Yeah. yeah. Didn't happen. Who created the most, the un, most <laughs> uninteresting <laughs> son in the world. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> uh, yeah, you point. You tell me. Who's next? Who's got a mic? Oh, you have a mic, sir. This guy. You get a T-shirt. No, see, now you got Adam's not old on, mic. On. You have Adam's old mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm using your mic right now. <laughs> uh, just a quick question for Joshua Gomez about your independent film you're doing with your brother. Yeah. How's that working out, kind of getting back together with uh, McKenna and some of the Chuck guys? Yeah, we, it was fun. Uh, you have to ask McKenna. She had a miserable time. I had fun. Horrible. <laughs> Cried every day. You get a um, T-shirt. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's cool. It's coming together and it's fun. I, I it, you know, be, being able to make your own stuff is 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 the way to go. It's, as as you know, oh, I have Adam's that's old, how old mic. That is. It's that beard. It's the it is. It's a lot of aluminum. <laughs> Missed you at the trailer park. Yeah, man. What happened? Speaking of speaking of making your own stuff. Yeah. Well done, fellas. Thanks, buddy. Did you guys see Trailer Park Heroes at all? That was kind of fun, right? The original idea was that I would literally call all of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then we had a creative meeting, and everybody was like, I mean, are we just being lazy? Is that just being lazy? No, I know, right? And then at the last minute, we, then we were like, oh, maybe we should get everybody, and then we didn't. But <laughs> next time, maybe. Uh, give that man a shirt. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Wow. wow. You have else. the ability to just kill microphones. <laughs> Just yell it, just yell it. Thank you for this, because I don't know how many, many others last year waited in line for four or five hours, and didn't get in to the panel last year. So this is absolutely terrific. And I'm wondering about a future film possibility. Have you guys talked about it? Is there any progress or any success? Uh, yeah. that, that's, a, that's a question probably best directed at Josh Schwartz. Yeah. Uh, it's in his hands, he, uh, and then FIDAC. And they're not here conveniently. No, they're not. What happened? <laughs> How about that? Uh, oh, Peter Johnson, one of our executive producers, Peter, Peter Johnson. Peter Johnson. Oh, Peter Johnson. Peter uh, Johnson. So, Peter. PJ! Hey. I mean, the idea, I, look, I've, I've spoken about it before, probably ad nauseum, but I, I love the idea of doing a Chuck movie at some point. It, Warner Brothers owns the rights to the show, so it would have to really kind of come from them. Um, but, you know, and I also believe in the idea of, of fan-driven and uh, content, you know, like, like uh, Kickstarter, something like that, you know. 
But, but here's the thing, though, guys. For that kind of stuff to happen, people really have to be committed. It can't be like, oh, I'm, like, I know there's online petitions and everybody's, you know, I've seen them. And I, by the way, I, I so appreciate them. But it can't just be like, oh, I'm down to see a Chuck movie. It's like, no, I guarantee I will pay $5 for this thing. And it's got to be like a million people who do it. It can't just be 100,000. 100,000 is a lot of people. But it's got to be like every Chuck fan in the world saying, I'll buy this for five bucks. And if that happens, I will, I will go to Warner Brothers myself and let blood. I will do whatever I need to do. Next, yes. Oh, in the back. I love it. Standing room. Do it. Um, first, I want to say thanks to Adam because we heard last hour about all your hard work sending out the emails on the floor <laughs> of Zach's living room. The other Adam. That's a joke, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then, um, Zach, I just wonder if you know how much each of the operations cost for Operation Smile. That's an excellent question. Uh, uh, roughly, one operation for Operation Smile is $240, and it's about an hour uh, process. So if we raise $100,000 this year, that's how many operations? <laughs> <laughs> A lot, sure, sure. I mean, just these two panels alone, that's a lot of operations. And by the way, that's forever. That's forever. A kid's life is changed forever. They no longer have to walk around in shame or as a pariah. And so their families. That's because of you guys. And their families. And their families and everybody. It's when you huge. see that video, it's like, it's moving. I'm just going to give this box to some, you know, just keep handing this stuff out because I don't want to take it home, honestly. So just go ahead and give those to everybody as they... We have some posters, too, I think, somewhere. I don't know. Who's next? You in the Chuck Bymore Chuck. Uh, Chuck Bymore jacket Chuck. Chuck, 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 Chuck. <laughs> Continue. Hey, guys. Um, uh, first, I want to say thank you for all of you being here. Uh, the show meant the world. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for this amazing person right here. Uh, I, I wanted to ask, uh, it's a question for all of you. I, there are a lot of nuance to, to all the characters, and I was wondering, which ones of those were scripted and which ones weren't? Like, I noticed, Josh, Morgan had a very specific run. The way... Just the... <laughs> and, and you guys, when you, you would speak simultaneously, you would do harmonies. Like the Enter the Dragon, or there was a one... Uh, oh, you mean the Morgan Chuck harmonies? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. we did those. Yeah. So I was just those wondering if you could all elaborate on something that you decided to bring to the character that wasn't in a script. Well, I, I, I'll just say one quick thing, and then I, I would love for everybody else to touch upon this, but I, uh, there was definitely latitude. You know, we, we were allowed to make the characters our own in, in a lot of ways, and a, and a lot of it were those smaller moments, and I think, fortunately, uh, the way fate would work out is that we were all kind of our characters. <laughs> uh, and I think we've talked about that in panels before. Oh, well, well, I mean... That ain't in accurate. Ways. That ain't accurate. In ways. Um, haircut, haircut. So, you know, Ouch. like, uh, Josh and I would constantly be talking about little moments or little bits or what would be funny to us. And that's why we ended up But harmony. that harmony thing started on the pilot with Demova. With the, uh, man, we, what oh, would yeah. be funny about doing it like, yeah. uh, so, so supple, so sweet, whatever the line was. <laughs> and then we just went, uh. <laughs> Yeah. The end of the dragon and all that stuff followed suit. You yeah. Clacka. The run is my well, run. <laughs> I just want to say for the record that I am not like my character because I don't kill people in real life. <laughs> yeah, but you slay the hearts of many men. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for, for those of you that don't know, behind the scenes, Yvonne is one of the most bawdy, fun. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No, no. Hilarious, Hilarious. Aus Australian character so ever yeah. know. Spitting, farting, yeah. 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 popping. Yeah. You can deny it all you want. Your nickname was no, Gas I, Master. I, I, like, I, I, mean, I, <laughs> I always like to think of her as like it wasn't, Car Carol Burnett. I always thought of her as Carol Burnett, who was one of the we, great, great talents of our of our time. Of our time. We had a very well, look. We had a very loose set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's people farting right right now. Wanted to she's farting right Loose now. Bowels. The character, yeah, the character like didn't it. really allow that to flourish. So hopefully, you know, in the future, we'll get to see a little more of that on camera. Uh, forgive me, my voice. I, I caught, I caught about, a case of the con crud recently, so my voice is kind of shot. <coughs> shot. 
What about uh, nuances on, on y'all's characters? Did you feel like you could bring a piece of Mark Christopher? There, oh, there's Ryan! Oh, Ryan's oh. here! And look who else decided to join us. Yay! Old Stoneface himself. Uh, so, uh, sorry I was late, everybody. I, uh, you know, I was down at the gym, just kind of gunning my lats, and, uh, when I'm gunning Yo. my lats, it takes about, uh, about three hours. Not all. When, so. did, when did Ryan become Matthew McConaughey? Well, what is going yeah. on? Actually, Ryan would have been great at Magic Mike, right? Yeah. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. And chaps, stop it. You guys remember what this is from, by the way? What episode? Who wants to go home with that head? Very good, very good. We have this whole statue at Nerd Machine. <laughs> but it broke while it was being shipped to the Nerd Machine. So now, but that now it looks broke. like it's really antique, like those old statues in museums. It's like missing arms and clearly a head. Yeah. Any, anybody know what it's a derivative of? Thank you. <laughs> what? We can't go one panel, <laughs> one panel. It's Comic Con. Yeah. <laughs> there we yes, go. Yes, right here. That's awesome. Oh, my! Is it off? Check one, check one. Oh, for crying in the night. We'll go over here real quick. It's all right. No, no, no. Your mic's not on either. We're having not a enough. mic problem. Who's got another mic? We'll come back to you. Don't worry about right it. Here. You in the back. Hi. You got it. You got to eat it. Really not on. Hi. Um, a few of us were at Mark's show yesterday, which was awesome, by the way. I laughed really hard. Um, are, would any of you consider going on his show, doing some comedy or singing or anything like that? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> we would not. Even I've tried stand up before, and I didn't totally fail, and then I was fine with it. I was like, oh, I didn't die. Uh, tried it. I'm good. I don't, I don't need to do that anymore, I don't think. But I love that you guys. I was talking to him backstage. I love that you nerds went and supported Mark last night. That was awesome. Yes. That was awesome. Yeah, they came out in force. It was great. Krinsky does stand up. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing so much to support charity. That really means a lot to thank all those you. people. Thank you. And uh, wanted to ask, since all of you, or most of you, have such great chemistry together, are there any upcoming projects where we might see some of you, uh, you know, in other productions? Together or separately or? Uh, either. Anybody? Not currently, right? <laughs> hmm? Maybe one day. Not yeah. so far together. No, the last thing that I, I mean, Trailer Park Heroes, uh, I was able to wrangle Adam into. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. No, no, McKenna. McKenna and Josh. Is oh, McKenna right, and Josh, right. they, yeah. yeah, just did your pod. And Mercedes, yeah. Mercedes was in it. And Mercedes yeah. as well. Right. right. Um, you sick Kentucky on me to get me in that one. Like, Kentucky, go get him. <laughs> oh, is that how you got in there? He's brutal, he's relentless. <laughs> yeah, that's why I sicked him on you. Damn it. Where is he? S sicked him? Sucked? Sucked him? Sicked. What is the past sicked. tense of sick? Otherwise, you would have said no Sacked. immediately. Sacked. Sakaga. Is that anybody? Yes, in the, uh, yes. Are you guys? Uh, I, uh, I'm oh, pleased check, to find check, out check who's with me to go on the subway cross country tour. Good question, good question. <laughs> um, what the you heck was that? Take this. Who wants to take, who uh, wants to feel that one? Oh, yes. Oh, is there somebody on the phone? I'm in the middle of Ohio right now. I thought we were doing a subway cross country tour. Uh, is that right with Portland? Oh. Back it off the mic a little bit. It's a little blurry. Oh, I miss everybody. I wish I was there with you guys. I'm sorry. No, you don't. Oh. Don't do it. Don't, oh, do don't it. No, awe him. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not, not. He's not sorry. Nonsense. We love you, Ryan. We wish you were here. Kind of. You Gun kind knows of lats, here. bro. Gun knows lats. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, down here. Are just, here, is it on? Okay. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hi. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say that I spent a month of my extra time on my couch watching every single season until the last one, and then I watched that live. But you guys are the most amazing cast together. It's, oh, I can't even explain it. 
You guys are great. I love you. She said, she said, ugh. In the best, in the best way. Oh, that's awesome. um, is there anything you guys wish you would have done? <laughs> is there anything you, you guys wish your character would have done? It's the story of his life. Don't let him get in your head. What would you say? This. <laughs> Is there anything you guys wish that would have happened in the show that did not, that your character could have done, or maybe somebody else? Anything that McKenna? you wanted to happen? Come on. What? We talked about it. Thanks. Uh, Tell the audience. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. I mean, listen, I'm so grateful. This is the best experience of my entire life. But I would have liked to kick a little bit more butt, or maybe like drop from the ceiling on like an, a cord. McKenna or has something. a black belt in real life. Yes, she does. <laughs> you should all know. So be a scared. She Very can kick scared. some butt. All of you. Vic, anything you wanted to do? Um. Well. Weird. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think. Um, uh, these are not working. Well, I don't know, maybe a little Lester Love would have been interesting. Uh, I it concur, was, I concur. I think there should have been a Lester episode. It was close. Really you, you dabbled. Episode. You dabbled. You came close. Yeah, we came close. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your help on that, Josh. Well, um, well, that was that episode with the Indian girl. Yeah, you don't have to call her Indian. Uh, <laughs> she's many other things. Well, she South was. Asian, Mark. South Asian. <laughs> Thank oh. you. If you're going to be racist, pick it properly. No, yeah, it, it was close, but it would have been nice to see that train wreck happen for a few episodes. So, yeah. Modern. She was easy on the eyes, too. <laughs> easy Just saying. black, man. Just saying. <laughs> Mark, yes, what about you? Anything with the big mic? Uh, mm, no, no. <laughs> you were pretty fulfilled all the way around? I was, uh, I, I, you know, I, I would have liked to see Bologna back. Yeah. In the final season, you know, to... Sort of tie that knot up. Just like the two of you eating a giant foot long together. Yeah. How many, how many foot longs did you eat by the end of that show? I don't know. I don't know, but a lot. <laughs> I'm telling you, Jared is a liar. I gained weight from those foot <laughs> <laughs> I felt myself growing with every bite. <laughs> there it is. Tweet Yvonne, it out. Yvonne, anything that you wanted to see happen? I'm pretty good with everything. The thing I just thought of was it w would have been fun maybe to have Sarah Walker uh, work in the Buy More, like with, with the Buy More guys a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, you basically, after the Orange Orange, you never had a cover job anymore. Yeah. It was over. Just saying. I would have liked to perform with Jeff Satu. <laughs> little background dancer? Maybe do like a rap or something. Yeah. Upcoming, maybe upcoming. Like salt and pepper style, you know. What Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Do some, come on. Come on, come on. Uh, come on, let's hear a little rap. Let's go. Adam. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you started this. Come on, baby. This is kind of something. This will go on so, behind so, so, the scenes. Yeah. In between takes, yeah. it real good. Yeah. Yeah. Ivan Strahovski. Audition passed. Yeah, come on, baby. If you got it, do it. Uh, my, I would have loved to see Harry Tang again. Yeah, and, and his lovely wife, Poon. I just saw him. <laughs> Harry Tang. You all know that. She, that her, she was her, name, her name was initially Poon. Yeah. Her, what was, Harry, didn't, it, Harry's didn't, it stay, didn't it stay Poon? No, no, but no. But we would never introduce her. We weren't her allowed as, to. We would never introduce her as Poon Tang. We would introduce her. This is. <laughs> this is Harry's wife, Poon. Poon yeah. Right. This is Harry yeah. Tang's wife. All Poon. for a family show. Yeah. We really, yeah, yeah, yeah. we really threaded that yeah. line. But I would have loved to see uh, C.S. Lee again because he was just yeah, he was great. So I just saw him the other day. You're working with him now, right? He's great. At, yeah. at, at Dexter, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're working so yes, with the guy. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. Josh, any uh, any unresolved uh, Morgan uh, things you wanted to do? 
I, you know, no, I, I, I don't know, man. I pushed it. <laughs> not, not real good. <laughs> but, but Get up. He pushed it real good. <laughs> um, you know, Mor Morgan went farther than I ever thought he would. So I was, I was happy, man, you know? Yeah, Alex. Alex McHugh slash Corburn slash Casey slash... <laughs> Identity crisis. You know what I mean? Um, I was very, no, I was, I was happy. I mean, I thought maybe there could have been a Chorgan that, that like, had, there was a battle of the bands and there was a whatever and Jeffster was doing their thing and then Chorgan could have Chorgan, came, like, the band so Chorgan. The band, uh, band couldn't make it and oh, then Chorgan could be muck. had to. This more, more, muck? 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 <laughs> okay. Muck sounds like it could be like a hardcore death rock band. <laughs> muck. Uh, muck. <laughs> Or like Slipknot, or, or tap. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> what are you river dancing? What is going on over there? I don't know. What, what does Ryan think? What Ryan? What did you want to do? To the what Ryan? What would you? Well, you know, I uh, you know I wish uh, you know I don't know if you guys remember in season one I did uh, Chuck versus the Tango and uh, I would have loved to have obviously been more involved in the spy world. But, uh, uh, thanks, but, uh, Ryan. Okay. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, what me? No, I just nothing. I was just uh, following Yvonne on Twitter. Wow, you can stop it now. That's the that's all the cheer was. Goodness gracious, five years. I know it's ridiculous. Anticlimactic. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it already. The damn. Uh, <laughs> the damn. Yes. Uh, thanks for the fans. Uh, who's who's next? No. You are. Oh yes. We we, we <laughs> promised we'd come back to her. I'm so sorry. And then and then we'll go to him. Yes. But it doesn't work. It still doesn't work. It still doesn't work. There we go. There you go. There you go. You just got to be works. patient. Okay. I love Chuck. Thank you. Deeply miss Firefly. Ha Happy tenth anniversary, Firefly. What I want to know. Wow. I recommend caution. <laughs> Completely. I brought my own gear. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the answer you were looking for. You know, I, Kentucky, Kentucky said, so you're going to bring your own gear, right? Okay. <laughs> I was actually surprised when the credits came up that you guys were going through your characters' names and it wasn't Adam Baldwin as... Adam, Adam Baldwin. Baldwin. <laughs> I just thought you were going to be in I was like, that was shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that tall? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, oh, yes, you, sir. Um, of all the amazing guest stars you guys had on the show, which, which was the most fun to kind of work with and offset fun as well? I, th oh, wow. I still believe the best villain we ever had was Timothy Dalton. Yeah, yeah. Tim Dalton. Alexi Volkov. I mean, we had great villains. Uh, most of them were just one-offs. Uh, occasionally, we would have a recurring, but Laracat. Alexei Volkov, Timothy Laracat. Dalton, huh? Laracat. Oh, Laracat. John Laracat, Laracat, Laracat was Laracat. awesome as well. Right. But yeah, he wasn't not in the villain cal oh, category. Oh, villain. Yeah, yeah. You said villain. Sorry. Robert the Bruce. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Hale, uh, Tony Hale. Uh, for me, Tony, Tony Hale, Hale was Tony amazing. Hale was amazing. Tony's That's, great. Yeah. That was really too bad that we had to kill him. Yeah. Yeah, we had to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Car um, um, Carrie, Carrie Ann Moss, by the way, was one of my was one of my favorites. Who? Carrie Ann Moss. Oh, Carrie Ann Moss was Carrie amazing. Moss, yes, yeah. I loved her. No, she was um, awesome. She's great. And the Cat Squad. It's, Mark it's, Hamill. It's so hard to remember everybody. I mean, Dolph Lundgren. We did an Expendables panel here this morning, and Dolph and Dolph was in, and I went to go. I said hi to him in the morning. I go, hey man, thanks so much. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I go, I don't know if you remember when we did Chuck together. He goes, what? <laughs> It was, it was a lot of stuff going on. And I go, Chuck, the show Chuck goes, oh, yes, yes, yes. And that, he, he did remember. And then somebody in the panel asked him, and he, and he totally he remembered and, and all that stuff. But it was so funny. I was like, oh, you were there for an episode. It was pretty quick. In and out. Reggie Vale Johnson was good for me. Who? Oh, yeah. Reggie oh, Vale yeah. Johnson. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. As your cousin. And basically reprising his role from Die Hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, who's next? Yes, you in the back. Hi. From um, Oklahoma. Yes. I remembered. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, I know you directed several of um, the episodes, and I was wondering what it was like switching back and forth from like director to actor, and then for the rest of you, what was it like having Zach direct oh, you? Oh, how long do you have? Vic great, you know, that's a great sort of question. That's Give her a very prize. Very good. Give very her a prize. Good. I was at, this is one of the questions I was yeah. hope was asked. Yes, um, yes Zach as director. Uh, let's start with that. These are things I've wanted to say for a long time. I, <laughs> uh, I, well, I love... I love directing. Um, I, uh, I I always wanted to do it since I well I, d I directed stuff when I did theater years ago and I always wanted to transfer into doing television and film and stuff like that. It's really hard. I mean I I won't make any ifs ands or buts about it. It's really difficult and maybe the most difficult thing about it is feeling like you know as it from an actor to an actor standpoint it's you you never want to give like if you're not directing you don't you don't give other actors notes you don't go and say hey maybe try it like this like there's a protocol to acting um. you don't <laughs> unless you're Vic <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so so all of a sudden when you're having to wear that other hat and you're like hey maybe try it like this you're hoping that they understand that you're wearing the director hat and they're not going wait a minute you're my friend and you're my co-star and you're st overstepping a boundary or whatever, but these guys were all super gracious with me and very patient with me, and they trusted me uh, from what I could tell. I don't <laughs> uh, and here's and our side. Um, he read. Um, here's the truth. Uh, no, no, no. I thought it was great when you were directing. I, I think because you bring uh, uh, the acting side to it. You know, it, it, you didn't have to try to make up, as an actor, you didn't have to try to make up reasons why I went over here, because you had an idea from an actor's standpoint of why you were doing something. And some directors are just very sort of camera and technically oriented, and because he's an actor, uh, his episodes, I think, were great. And also because Zach knows more about our own characters than, than any that's, that's guest director would um, coming thing. on the show, yeah. and that was a big plus, was that we weren't getting any stupid direction from you. <laughs> oh, wow. Not that I'm sure, I'm sure I had a couple a of I sure I'm sure no. I had a couple of stupid notes. Like character direction, you know, like you weren't going to say, "Oh, well, I think you should do this" when clearly that's not what our characters yeah. would do. Yeah. You got yeah, you got to understand that like every every week there was Essentially, we had our recurrings. We had, you know, and Robbie Duncan McNeil, who was probably did the most. Oh, right? Robbie. Robbie, we loved. And then, and then we had, you know, um, um, there was uh, about uh, half a dozen uh, directors uh, that. Uh, 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 Alan Craker. Uh, All right. Uh, Listen, uh, man, uh, I just gotta uh, tell you, I really uh, appreciate the way you completely. <laughs> Just inside jokes. Just these are all inside jokes that, yeah, that yeah, none of you would even understand. Except for you can feel free to tweet on your phone, do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Get, we're yeah, playing yeah. guess, guess the director. Yeah. So, but some would come in for just one episode and then leave, and and and, and it's t it's difficult to kind of come in. And we've all been together for X amount of years or doing our thing, and then they think they have an <laughs> an opinion about where things should go. <laughs> um, but with Zach, obviously, it was so because I mean, who knows the show better? Right, so was, that, that part was just completely um, uh, easy. Um, there's other things. Um. Uh, I, like, I like Zach as a director because I could come up and say, okay, where do I start and where do I finish? I'll finish, I'll fill in the rest. And he would say, oh, you start here and you can't finish there. And by the way, you weren't funny in that scene, so be funnier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you guys. I no, I, I just want to say one thing that, that for me, I don't think I said uh, a single scripted word. And uh, that, was, that wasn't always easy on people, but Zach has an ability, I think, and I think this is not just because he was used to the show, but a talent, to kind of go into that improv and also nuance it and suggest things that I think were each time brilliant. And the first time I, I felt free singing was when I sang Fortunate Son. And I think a lot of that had to do with, with the direction and the liberty and the openness and the encouragement that he brought that allowed me to kind of find my wings a little bit, so to speak. Um, and, um, and, and that's, that's due to pure, sheer talent, I think, not just, uh, not just used to the show, what these other jackasses say. <laughs> you know, uh, but, but I always worried when he was directing that he wasn't resting. Because yeah, that's because I wasn't. Because he'd be in scenes, and, and I'd always say, you know, sit down for a second, T take a drink of water. I don't know. I, you know, but I was worried about him, because he, he, if it was without him, we didn't have a show. <laughs> well, I, thank you guys so much for all that. I mean, look, it's an, like I said, it was an intense show to make, but I, I love the show I love so much, and, I, and it was really fulfilling being able to direct certain episodes, and 
I'm, I may still be most proud of the first one that I did. That's what I was going to, yeah. Yeah, that, the, that was the <laughs> check versus the beard. <laughs> Fitting. Um, what are you doing? Oh, you're going to send this to Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then even Some in, of the finest Ryan work, by the way. Was that? This is some of his finest work. <laughs> I'm not trying to. No, honestly, this is, this is some of the most. This is, he's emoting Stunnel. like I've never actually seen. Tunnel still. Hey, I'll, be, I'll be done with it. Let's, let's hear another question. Yeah, uh, who's, gonna, who's next? Yes, you were in the front. I know everyone says thank you, but thank you. You're welcome. Um, our, for our little family, you are our favorite show, or still will be. Um, I had a question. That's why I got the mic. But um, <laughs> um, my favorite show was Quantum Leap. So oh, yeah. my worlds collided that day when oh. Scott Bakula was on. I literally screamed like a total nerd, and my family's like, yeah, you know. So I just wanted to know if there was a moment. Like, that was one of my favorite moments. I have so many, but that was just like, nah. So I just wanted to know if you had a ah moment for one of, like, episodes or just a moment where you're just like, that was it. But your ping kind of thing. So I love that. So looking for an ah uh, or a ping. <laughs> but Kenna, you were going to say? Oh, well, maybe I missed it. It wasn't necessarily a ping, but when I was a kid, well, it was one of those, like, oh, my God, this is happening moments and uh, when Linda Hamilton because when I was a kid me and my mom would watch Beauty and the Beast and like we watched I have a VHS tape still of it that's like kind of like falling apart and stuff and uh, anyway so when I got to meet her in the trailer I was like sweating and like oh, this is really nice <laughs> moment which was cool so thanks guys <laughs> uh, anybody else have a ping a ping, ping. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll agree with you with Scott. I was a Quantum Leap fan, yeah. and uh, whoever asked that question earlier about the guest stars, that was, uh, we, I should have said him in, in that. We all should. Scott Bakula is one of the, not just incredibly talented, he's one of the nicest men I've ever met, and was so giving. In fact, a lot, I mean, Linda and Scott and Timothy, I mean, Timothy was amazing because he was such a bad guy, but he was such a nice guy when he wasn't being Alexei Volkov. Um, and, uh, but they're very generous. We were very blessed to have very generous actors that, that really gave you a lot in scenes, you know? And Scott was one of those people, and it was really sad to see him die. We, so, <laughs> it was really a bummer. And when he was lying there on the ground, when I was shooting that scene with him, I mean, it really was like, my, my dad. <laughs> I mean, well, that's my dad dad right there. Yeah. No. I'd pick you, Daryl. <laughs> yeah. I'd pick you. Uh, but, it, but I actually did kind of, I, that's what was going through my head. I was imagining if I was holding my real dad in my arms and he was dying in my arms, you know? Because I'm method like that. Um, <laughs> and it was sad. I, I was like, gosh, because he, he really is such a great dude. Um, but that was a ping. That was a, ah, for me. Anybody else? Anybody? No? It, it was a, a sort of a ping with, with Linda, because I, I worked with Linda on Terminator 2. Yeah. And um, it was great to see her. Like, the first day I saw her, I came into makeup, and she was sitting there. And I looked at her, I said, Linda? And she goes, oh, my gosh. So it was, it was, that was a ping. Who's, anybody, uh, yes. Uh, oh, in the front, yes, you. Just real quick, you know, just wanted to thank you guys for giving, you know, all your fans and fans being loving and just all around accepting our geeky quirks like people who stand outside of Amen. TV sets to just catch a glimpse of you guys. So just real quick, just wanted to thank you real quick for that. But um, my question is, uh, what would you, t what would less than perfect Zach or I love you to Yvonne or full metal jacket, Adam, what would you guys say to yourselves now if you were back in that place? What would you, what would you think about the place that you're at now? Don't do it. <laughs> Whatever, no. <laughs> Get a sleeping pill prescription. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. 25 years still? <laughs> <laughs> still shooting people? Still? <laughs> still? Yeah, right. Still a killing machine? So, uh, Adam, do you find yourself typecast as the uh, uh, heavy? <laughs> and, and I say, so? <laughs> I, I, I would probably, honestly, I would probably... Uh, if, I, if, if Less Than Perfect Zach could tell them me now or, or had the, or, or me now tell the Less Than Perfect, is that? Oh, is that the 
Sorry, time travel's screwy, isn't it? Um, back to the Future got it right. Um, I, I think I would say it's going to be tough, but it's all going to be worth it. And it'll be one of the most magical journeys you'll go on. And like, like any magical journey, it's going to be tough. And there's going to be moments where things don't make sense. And you'll think, <laughs> and you'll think you'll be canceled. And you won't be. Uh, many, many times. Many, many times. And honestly, and, I, I, and you guys know this, but I really, I really do think that, that our show will go down in history as being kind of a, a, the go-to of where fan influence really showed the world that it matters, that you matter, you know? So I think that that's huge for you guys. Yes. Hello. Hi. Um, I was just wondering what each of you, if there's something that you learned from your character that you're going to carry on with you. Well, could you say something that, that you've learned from your character that you're going to carry on with you, each oh. one of you. What, what, oh, we're, holding, we're holding that question. <laughs> not because it's not great. <laughs> because it is. Because we all need time to think. What? Hold on. What's going we on? Have Somebody. Oh, it's Sarah Lancaster. We love you, Sarah. I'll translate. She said, I wish I had a baby with Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> and this, I'm, I'm just from what I heard. Uh, and that's kind of faded out after that. <laughs> All right, uh, going back to your question. What, what, what about anything from your character you're gonna bring along with you? I was already kind of living the Big Mike thing. You know, I, let, I got the Latino wife and, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much Big Mike, I think. <laughs> With a little bit of Adam thrown in, because I've been shooting a lot lately. <laughs> Vic? Ah. <laughs> um, there it is. For Lester, uh, I think it's more learning what not uh, <laughs> to do. And, uh, you know, Lester was a broken boy who railed out at a world that he thought hated him. And I think that a little softness. Uh, sweetness can go a long way, so one day I'll try that. <laughs> Matt? Okay. Oh, um, well, I, I, I think Alex is pretty close to me, but maybe to trust, because she had to do a lot of trusting and forgiving over and over and over and over again. So I think I know those things, but it's always a good reminder. You know. Yvonne? <laughs> um, I like to think that I can take down anyone who thinks they can mug me or, I don't know, <laughs> attack me. Uh, and I'll carry a gun strapped to my thigh everywhere I go. Yeah, I don't know. Use a high heel as a weapon. Right. <laughs> Adam? I'm sorry, I lost the question. What have I learned from my character? Anything from your character that you'll take with you in, in your future as Adam that you learn? Or Adam that... Baldwin doesn't learn things from his characters. His characters learn things <laughs> from him. It's an excellent point. But shut up. I'm... Yeah, I, th I think I informed the character. <laughs> One thing I did learn, and Kentucky can vouch for this, is that we, uh, we practice a lot more of the uh, trigger discipline and muzzle management, right? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We made that a bit uh, with each other, so we made it uh, a concerted effort to, uh, you know, be as well-versed with the, the weaponry, because it was always changing. Hey, you got a new gun this week. It's like, but the old gun works fine. I know, but it's a new gun. <sighs> okay, let's look at the system here. Check it out. Oh, this is crappy. <laughs> but it looks cool. Okay. 
That's right. So what I've learned is that uh, you know, one mind, any weapon. That's solid. Josh? I guess that if you get shipped off to Hawaii in season two, it doesn't necessarily mean you're not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Benny Hanna. Zach? Uh, oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a, if you stump me, it's a great question. Because I think of everything. Um, that was a joke. Um, I, I, I don't know. I think that uh, you know one of the things that I've always loved about Chuck was that he loved his friends and his family so much, and he was loyal, and he and he cared, and he and he was a uh, he was about sacrificing for the bigger picture, you know. Um, so I think that that's something. So unlike you. What? So unlike you. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I still think it's. It's, it's a good way to live life, you know? Be, being thoughtful of others and trying to, you know, be about bigger things and... Like you guys, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. You really are amazing. You, you, you allowed us to make a show for five years that, you know, maybe only would have gone one. And we have so much experience and uh, time that we got to spend together and with you at so many Comic-Cons. Uh, because of your love, because of all the energy and Subway sandwiches that you ate. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, and Subway thanks you. Um, you know, so yeah, I guess I, I would take that with me. Um, and I, 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 think, I think that was the last question. What? I'm so sorry. I know. Thank you. Thank we you guys so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Let's hear it for all of our panelists. Let's everybody take a bow. Let's take a bow. Hey, guys. Take a few bows. Guys, thank you guys for coming. You know we're going to do a, a signing at 2 o'clock. That's awesome that you guys brought that out. Uh, so everybody's going to file out the building on this side so we can get the second group of people to come in. They're, they're already lined up, so we don't want to have a bunch of traffic. So what we want you to do is go out this door, go around the block. You can come back in HQ, hang out for 30 or 40 minutes, and then we'll do the same kind of lineup that we did for the, for the panel for the signing that's going to happen at, uh, at 2, okay, guys? So... Very quietly, very calmly, very friendly -y. We're going to walk out the door, okay? Thank you guys so much, and we'll all see you back in the HQ. And guys, also remember, lining up the same way you lined up before when you come in for the signing, so it's fair to everybody, right? Exactly the same way. Based on your seat number, okay? You, it's like Southwest Airlines for nerds. So 